visiting with Jerome Kovar. He's with Bayer, and we're at Commodity Classic 2012 with the Ohio Agnet. I'm Ty Higgins reporting. Weed resistance is a big issue across the Buckeye State, talking about it over the past couple of weeks, and we're going to be talking about it even more as we get closer to the planting season. Talk to me, Jerome, about the problem we're having. I know here in the south it's a little bit more prevalent than up north, but it's coming. Yes, glyphosate resistance continues to spread exponentially both in geography but also in the number of weed species and bear crop science has the most the best solution to help protect and break uh, glyphosate resistance we have liberty herbicide and liberty link technology liberty herbicide has unique mode of action and is the only non-selective alternative to glyphosate and with the liberty link system does does uh, allow and is most reliable in crop weed management solution to battle glyphosate resistant weeds but weeds resistance to multiple herbicide classes. You know we talk about the problem and it's becoming more and more of an issue. You, you can't go anywhere within Commodity Classic without talking about it. From a producer standpoint do you think they're getting the message? No, in many cases uh, we feel just, just based on surveys and, and various meetings and, and university personnel that uh, we're not being proactive enough to go ahead and implement an integrated weed management program. An integrated weed management program is, is very, the three key aspects is to rotate crops, which most growers in the Midwest have done very good, particularly in Ohio, but also rotate herbicide tolerant traits and also rotate herbicide modes of action. With Liberty Linlink technology, it allows you to rotate the herbicide tolerant trait from glyphosate, but also the alternative non-selective herbicide choice of uh, glufosinate or Liberty. I hate to use scare tactics, but it's one of the ways to get the message across. And as we look down here in Tennessee, there gets to be a point where you get to a certain point of weed control where it might be too late. You, there's never any way to come back. That is correct. They're to the point where they don't have any options. From the standpoint of sustainability in their farming operations, they have seen their costs go up in soybeans $200 to $300 an acre because they literally have to utilize not only pre-emerge herbicides, but also sequential applications of Liberty, but then they're actually bringing in whole crews to totally eradicate this problematic weed. Jerome Kovar, my guest from Bayer Crop Science, our guest here from Commodity Classic 2012 in Nashville, Tennessee. I'm Ty Higgins, and this is the Ohio Agnet.